Good afternoon, Cubes of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here. And today, guys, I got two weeks of community mail to go through. Um, so we're going to go through it. We're going to have a lot of fun. And uh, it's been a great two weeks getting stuff from the community. Life has been super, super busy. So for those of you that sent me things, if I'm just getting to them, my apologies. But without further ado, we're going to get into it. So two weeks ago, and my apologies, Brian, for just getting to it. I won on Brian's Breakfast with Brian. And um, you get five books, so we'll show those books, and we're going to just keep going down down the pile here. So we have uh, Strike Force number one. Now, I have all of these. These are great. I don't mind having another number one, especially with Jessica Drew right there, Spider-Woman. Uh, it was a fun series. It was a little up, a little down, but uh, Jessica Drew was perfect in it, so happy to have that. Then we have a book I don't care about at all. <laughs> Brian knows he was making fun on the show. Power Rangers won, so that'll that'll just get a a okay to somebody. That's a great thing. Even if you win something, if it doesn't fit your PC, there's somebody out there you'll know that will love it and give it. And we'll talk about things getting proper homes a little later in here. Uh, Marvel Tales featuring Spider Man guest starring Hulk and Wood God. Wood God is a cool character um, that was in Marvel premiere and uh, a really fun intro. Now, um, this I didn't realize in Marvel Tales. I thought it was always all reprints, but this says all new X-Men versus Sunstroke bonus story and uh, a new one. So I'm going to read. I can't wait to read this issue. I've never actually read this one. So that's going to be a lot of fun for me. Um, I love the Marvel Tales. I love the reprints. The fact that it has a new story, and I don't think I've ever read that Wood God story. So I'm pretty excited about that. Then we have Genlock number one, uh, Jim Lee cover. I know nothing about this. This will probably get A-OK -okay to someone else as well. Uh, I know plenty of uh, DC guys, and uh, that will probably go to them. Now, this next one is a book I was curious about, so now I'm probably going to pick it up, seeing I have issue one. And that is Night Club by Martin Miller and Juan and Ramirez. So, great cover. I'm probably going to pick this up now and read it. And I can't. I love this cover, actually. I can't wait to uh, dig into this and try it out. Then, of course, if you guys don't know, the CVCA Awards are coming up. <clears throat> we got a little note from Brian. It says, uh, congrats on your breakfast with Brian Wine. Thank you for your support of my channel. The community, hashtag go together. Good luck. And uh, 2023 CBC Awards. Thanks, Brian LCS. So, let's see. And then he sent a couple of CVCA stickers, 2023. And um, when voting opens... Uh, Go vote for Stephanie and I as best duo, couple, or collaborators for our art series show that we did. Our final episode of that is coming up. And then, of course, his stickers for his channel. So really cool. Thank you very much, Brian. All right, then um, I got this yesterday, and this was from Izzyverse. I won on his channel. Uh, so let's we'll get to what I won. And what I won was Spider-Man 7, Introducing Spider-Boy. This was the cover with him on it. And signed by Dan Slott. Signed um, right there. And there's a COA. And another Izzyverse sticker in there. Izzyverse NYC. So really cool. Thank you, Izzy. Uh, hard to find book at the moment. And then he sent me piece of original art he did of Conan the Barbarian. How cool is that? This is my fifth community Conan the Barbarian. So I'm getting quite a collection uh, from the artists in the community sending me Conan art, and it's really awesome. Uh, I've got art from Soul Twice, Shop for Comics, CJ, Nauman, and uh, just some great stuff. Thank you all so much. That That is great. Thank you, Izzy. Then um, on Comic Games Whatnot, <clears throat> I won a slab from them. Just uh, they did a drawing. I won, and the slab I won was uh, Venom Lethal Protector number one in a seven five. So there we go. All right. So good. Uh, good. Um. Uh, the old foil cover, and uh, so a lot of fun. So we're gonna just set that down. So next up. Uh, I had a few comics, I had uh, slab comics, Spider-Man books with a, with a nice Spider-Man logo on them that I had won 
uh, Farside Comics, and they sent them to me. I showed them off in some shorts and in a video. Uh, Nick's Kicks and Comics, he's a big Spider-Man fan. He really liked those covers. He wanted them. So I was just going to send them to him after he showed some interest and asked me what I wanted as an A-OK. -okay. But in true Nick's Kicks and Comics fashion, he wouldn't just accept them. He said it was too much. So he sent me a couple slabs. Um, and this is um, the Invincible Iron Man 1, the Midtown Comics variant by Scotty Young. This is a 9-8. And then the Invincible Iron Man 1 in a 9-8. Just the regular uh, Riri cover, her first cover. Now, <clears throat> when it comes to Riri Williams, I, uh, I don't collect the character, actually. Um, so these books are not staying with me. These two books are going to go to Zoe who is Dan's daughter from Out of the Panel Comics. She is a huge Riri fan. And uh, I know these are going to get hung on her wall when I send her, when I give these to her. So these are going to go to a really nice home. And this is what I mean by comics going to places uh, where they'll find a loving home. Um, are these cool to have? They, they, they certainly are. They're great books. But uh, this is a character that that little girl loves, and these are going to look great on her wall, and she is going to love owning these. So, Nick, you inadvertently um, helped me A-OK -okay a little girl who is going to have eyes full of wonder when she puts these on her wall. So, thank you, thank you. Now, next, <clears throat> um, these two books are from an Instagrammer. Um, one Shot Comics, uh, Nick over there, hashtag Never Enough Nicks. And he had his reader copies of these, and he sent them to me. Uh, he had extra copies, and he knew that I was looking for these. Him and I are big horror fans. We always talk about the horror we like. So he sent them to me as an A-OK, -okay, and I sent them out to get slabbed just to preserve them because they're such wonderful gifts, and I just wanted, wanted to keep them the way I received them. So this is Aliens number one. This is the second printing. So this came back in a 6.5 and just a great cover. I love this cover. Now this book I believe had four printings. So this book got reprinted quite a bit. Uh, but so really happy with that. It presents spectacularly. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Nicholas. But that wasn't the only one he sent me. He also sent me a raw copy of Predator number one. So I sent that out so I could preserve it as well. And um, these great gifts. And we got that back in a 6.5. And this is, of course, the first appearance of Predator in comics. With just a great cover. I love the orange. The Predator, Predator looks amazing. So just a great, two great horror slabs to add to a horror collector's um, collection. And um, Chris Warner cover. So spectacular gifts. I was so happy to get them back. Thank you so much again, uh, One Shot Comics, Nicholas. Really appreciate it. And then today, the final one. Uh, everyone, on, everyone that watches me knows I'm a huge New Jersey Devils fan. I'm a big hockey fan. And one of the members of the card community, uh, Slap Nuts is gaming, or Slap Nuts is ripping now. Uh, he rips a lot of cards. He plays some games. Uh, great dude. Um, always leaves funny comments. He... He's a quintessential guy with the ribbon back and forth. But he says, look, I got something I'm sending you. Um, it's, a, it's a relic. And I'm like, oh, a relic card. That's really cool. Can't wait. And um, so I opened the box today. And to my surprise, a gift way over the top. This is another jersey. Now, I'm wearing my Marty Berger jersey. And this is... The captain's jersey when Jamie Langenbrunner was on the team and Jamie Langenbrunner is another one of my favorite devils this is a guy that was there shift in shift out always doing his job on the ice scored some spectacular goals with the devils and was just one of their key players the whole time he was with them um, a fantastic gift that absolutely dropped my job when I opened it so thank you very much Eric you are very much appreciated sir but that is my community mail call for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed the what I had to show. Uh, as always, leave some comments below. Um, love interacting with them. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, keep it casual.
Attention all, use channel sponsor Rogue Trader at theroguetraderutah.com and my code, keep it casual, for 10% off your comic cleaning and pressing needs. Remember, when submitting your books to be graded, use a trusted professional.